believe it or not, a Facebook business page, or a Facebook page really, uh, can be just as valuable and almost as effective as having your own website for the first part of that online or digital marketing process, which is to get found online when somebody types in the right search terms that you want to find your business. So I'm just gonna walk you through real quickly how easy it is, once again, to set up a Facebook for Business page. Now the first recommendation that I'm gonna make is to, if you're already an avid Facebook user, is to set up a kind of a dummy Facebook profile. Uh, so set up a new Facebook profile just for business purposes. Now I say that because, you know, for example, like here, you know, I've got Mark J. Stevenson is my is my Facebook page here, and I've got a professional picture, and I've got digital marketing up here, and all of the the likes and the videos and the shares that I do from this particular page are about business and entrepreneurialism and marketing and all of those things that will enhance my my business life as opposed to my personal Facebook profile, which may or may not contain uh, family photos and pictures and political views and, and maybe TV shows and books that I like, none of which have anything to do in general with my business. So what I would do is it just requires that you use a new email address, um, which I've got about 47 of those, so that's no big deal for me. Um, but if you can manage it, create a new email address and Hotmail or Gmail or Ymail or whatever you want to do and set up a new basic personal Facebook profile before you set up a business page. So here you go. I'm going to go back over here to my, to my main section. And when you are ready to create your page, you're just going to roll down here. As you can see, I'm going down here through all of the pages that I already like, etc. And it even says create page. Now, when you first click that create a page button, what you'll get is the option to create a local business or place, company or organization, an entertainment, artist, band or public figure, brand or product, whatever applies to you is what you're going to select. Now, me personally, I'm in the local business, so I'm going to click a local business and we can kind of use maybe a Tampa plumbing business as an example, which I do later on as well in, in some of the website demonstrations. And once you select that local business, you get to choose a category. And as I mentioned many times during this, this class, this lesson, this course, very few of my businesses have ever fit in one of these categories. And we'll just pick a local business right there. So after you choose get started and you fill in your company name and address information, which I chose fake Tampa plumbing company, um, here you get into the rest of filling out the Facebook profile. And here's your about section. What I would do is here I might put uh, plumbers, plumber, there you go, that's a real category. And then tell people what your page is about. This is probably your first good opportunity to put in pieces of your elevator pitch or your entire elevator pitch. Now it says that you have 155 characters there. I want you to definitely use all 155 characters because the way Google and Bing and Yahoo and your customers find you is by is when you show up in search. And it's those words, it's that text, it's the pieces of your elevator pitch that help them find you. So you're gonna use every opportunity to fill out everything 100%, okay? Now you're gonna put in your website here if you have one. Uh, maybe it's one of the free websites that we're gonna talk about in a, in a little bit. Maybe you've had one developed. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. You don't need to put everything here. You can actually use this in place of your website while you get started. Now here's an example of one of my Facebook business pages already filled out, just so you can see what it looks like. It's obviously not fake Tampa plumbing, but it'll give you a great idea of what you're gonna end up with. What you'll end up with is the name of your business, what you do, a great place to put a title graphic and a, an image here that will show your face or your company logo again. You get the opportunity to put an about section where you have a short and long version of your elevator pitch. There's a spot for your website. Um, there's a great place for general information that you'd like to put. You can upload photos, you can upload video. It really is, it's not a complete substitution for a website, but you can put enough information in there. You can put 
your company name, your company phone number, what it's like to do business with you, pieces of your elevator pitch. You can put up posts that have pictures. You can put videos on there. And better yet, Google and Bing and Yahoo all index Facebook pages so you can get found online. I could show you countless examples of top 10 searches in Google and in Yahoo and in Bing uh, that are actual Facebook for Business pages. So uh, it's a free service that Facebook provides. The only thing that I'm recommending here, again, is that you actually um, create your own separate business-oriented Facebook profile for personal reasons, and, uh, and that you have a uh, one for business that you start your page with. You can have as many pages as you'd like. There's no charge. Just make sure you fill out everything properly, and you're on your way to getting your business found online and getting that marketing toolkit complete.